Well, welcome back to this part three, part three of Kingdom Agenda 2021. Now, in the first two segments, we went through five characteristics of Kingdom 2021, of what we need to be aware of, of things that are going to be marking, uh, things that you can look for. You can anticipate seeing these things happen in this new era, in this second year of this new era, okay? Now, we ended the last uh, segment. We've done 10 so far. We did five in the first segment, five in the second segment, we're going to try to do five in this segment, and then we'll wrap it up with the last, uh, the last six. Okay, so number 11, okay, 2021, the dam of wicked wealth will begin to break. In Proverbs 13, 22, the scripture says that the wealth of the sinner or the wealth of the wicked in some translations has been reserved and stored up for the just. Now, I believe that, that that passage is indicative of what has to transpire to fund and finance the end-time gospel. I believe that there are is approaching uh, 8 billion people on this planet, something like that. I'm between 7 and 8 billion, I believe. And that as we are, as that huge number, there are many people who have never heard the gospel. Well, Matthew 24, 14 says, And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. And before the end can come... That gospel has to be preached for a witness so that people will have access. Now, my personal prayer and declaration is that, Lord, I am praying that not a single human being on this planet is left void of the option to hear the gospel and receive Jesus before Jesus comes to take the church away. Now, I'm just praying that I'm because I, you know, if the word of God says it is God's will that none should perish. So in 2021, hallelujah, the dam of wicked wealth, that is wealth that has been held up, that the enemy has held up, he's blocked it. Okay, it's been in reserve, it's been set aside. And what the enemy does it for evil, God turns it around and works it for good. It's going to break. It's going to start pouring in. And you need to have a plan for how God has told you by the Holy Spirit for how you are to utilize those resources to maximize Deuteronomy 8.18. Now, I've got a new book coming out. We're going to be releasing it uh, later this month. And you'll start hearing about it. The cover design was completed. I got the final draft of the cover last night. I'm excited, but it's called Wicked Wealth. Over 40 ways that God is transferring the wealth of the sinner. A lot of people have been hearing about the wealth transfer, but they don't know how it goes from them to, from, from, from being reserved, how it goes from there to you and what stance and position or what prerequisites are required for you to access it. More on that later. Okay, here's the next one. The year 2021 is the year of the nighttime architect and daytime builder. Now, in the book of Amos, it talks about the harvest overtaking the reaper in the field. That means that returns are going to be happening so fast and harvest is going to be happening so fast that there, as quickly as you can get the seed in the ground, it will produce a harvest. Well, for that to transpire, that has to be work, has, there has to be some building or some sowing or some, some construction in a night season so that you... Uh, so the, some, of course, in the, of course, there has to be a design laid in the night season so that the construction can be done in the day. We do our design time in partnership with the Holy Spirit in prayer. That's the nighttime architect. And the daytime builder is once you get your instructions from the Holy Spirit, now you know what actions, processes, resources, relationships, techniques you need to do to step into. So one of the, it's really going to be very important that everyday believer develop the discipline for daily, in fact, multiple times of the day. Now, you, I'm starting to see where the Holy Spirit is just pulling me aside. Instead of just being able to pray in the morning, and, you know, get that hour, two hours time in the morning, prayer done. Holy Spirit says, no, I need you to pray. You need to block off 15 more minutes. Oh, just here, right here, right here in the middle of the day. I want you to just take 15 minutes right now and just pray into this, right? This one thing. And so, pray. and then later that night, you know, I'm watching the news and something comes up and I see something. The Holy Spirit says, you need to stop right now and pray into that. And then I end up praying another hour. So across that day, easily, you could spend, you could spend praying two, three or more hours. Okay. I remember hearing... 
oh gosh, I can't remember his name, uh, Wom uh, Womack, I believe, um, where he was saying that at one time he prayed for 18 hours straight, prayed in the spirit for 18 hours straight. When you look at the results and the size of the, uh, the size of the ministry that God has gifted him, you see where that comes from. If you want to see results in what you build, then you're going to have to dedicate that time to intercession and prayer. You got to pray the architect, the nighttime architect and the daytime builder. Next one. 2021, you must move with the cloud and not go with the crowd. Move with the cloud and not go with the crowd. Cloud, C-L-O-U-D, and not go with the crowd, C-R-O-W-D. The cloud, the word of God is in, in the book of Exodus. When the children of Israel were moved, they had a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. The cloud protected them from the heat of the day and the fire protected them from the cold of the night. So when they got, when God got ready to move, the cloud would move and they had to get up and move. Okay. In addition, another meaning of another meaning of the cloud that spoke out to me in this one was that there is a great cloud of witnesses in heaven who are agreeing and praying and they're, they are, they're watching us step into. So when you move with the cloud and not the crowd, you are partnering with the spirit of God. You are in agreement with what has been decreed over the annals of time. And so now, now, what the opposition to that is the crowd. That's just people, just because you think, just because everybody else in your family think it's okay to do something, you just say, well, you know, that's, that's all, it's all right with them. It's okay with me. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. If they're not going with the cloud, you better move, leave them alone, map, pack up your stuff and go find you a group of people that are moving with the cloud of God. Next one. 2021 is the year of three harvests, the year of three harvests. I did a class last summer called the three end time harvest. It's the harvest of souls, the harvest of wealth, and the harvest of territory. Now, I find it really interesting, and, I, and some of the stuff that I, as I'm meditating on scriptures, I believe that somewhere they said in order, when a person is missing in action, that it, if they're just missing, that it takes X amount of time for them to be declared dead. I think that time, window of time, I believe is seven years. Now, I have to research this again. I, so if I don't have this exactly right, don't shoot me, okay? But I, I thought it was seven years, like if a, if, a, if a soldier was missing in action, that it, was, it took seven years before they declared him dead or something like that. Now, I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, don't get mad. But anyway, if that were the case, I think it's interesting that Jesus is coming to take the church away for seven years. So on the, the seventh year and first day, they could declare them dead. But if they return on the, within that seven-year window, they, are, they, they can't be declared dead and their assets and resources are still supposed to be theirs. Now, again, I could be wrong. But I just thought, just, just kind of mulling stuff over and using my imagination. If that were the case, if we've got three harvests and we're harvesting territory, we're taking territory. What is territory for? It is to establish the kingdom of God in the earth. Deuteronomy 8.18. It's the same assignment that God gave Adam and Eve in the garden. He said to do what? To do it. Overtake it. Have dominion. That we have the same assignment. Hadn't changed. So in the year of three harvests, you and I must determine what territory am I supposed to occupy, Tammy? What souls are assigned to my life that I need to be bringing into the kingdom, Tammy? And what resource do I need to be expanding so that I have the resource necessary? What do I use my faith to bring that resource in? Where do I use my my hand, the works of my hands, what method or means or strategy for bringing that resource into the kingdom has God marked for my life. That's what the book Wicked Wealth is all about. It's about over 40 different strategies. Every time I think I'm done, I get another one. I have to add one more. I think right now I'm somewhere around 43, 44, but it's more than 40 different ways in scripture, in life, in the natural laws. Uh, in the word of God that we, you, that God uses to transfer wealth from one person to the next, from one kingdom to the next, from one era to the next, from one time period to the next. Okay. 2021 is the year of three harvests. And then here's the last one for this segment. 2021 is the year of the local church. The church is a building. 
and the people and both become the light and salt of the city. The church, the local church, the local church, the local church, it is a building and a people. Now, there are some people who've been saying, well, you know, you don't need the building. Oh, yes, you do. The devil is a lie. That's why the scripture says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together with like believers. You need to, you need relationships. You need a church. You need a place for corporate worship. You need a place where you can be, re you can be built up, encouraged, strengthened, fortified in your faith. So you do need a local church. Everybody does. Everybody needs a good local church. Now, sometimes you can't find it. Sometimes there's not a church where you are that that is in alignment with the stream of re, of knowledge that God has given you. And so you may find, I, for example, my my the church that I affiliate with uh, in terms of my alignment is in Arizona, okay? And I'm I'm partnered with that ministry. I sow into that ministry. I have conference calls with that ministry. In fact, I got one coming up here in a few minutes. I'm going to have to go, okay? So you are supposed to be the light and salt of your city. So I take what resource I have. I take, and then I use what God gives me to establish the kingdom of God in the earth. Now, we're going to take a break. I'm going to come back later today, and we're going to do our next segment. So for this segment, these are the ones that we covered. We've covered. Okay, number 11 was the dam of wicked wealth will begin to break. That's the wealth of the sinner coming into the kingdom. We said the 2021 would be the year of the nighttime architect and daytime builder. That means that's your prayer life where you're praying things into existence at night. And then in the daytime, you get up and you work towards it in the day. Okay. Number four, uh, number 13, 2021, you must move with the cloud, C-L-O-U-D, not go with the crowd, C-R-O-W-D. Okay. Uh, number uh, 14, the year of three harvest. Okay. 2021 is the year of three harvest. Uh, 20, and then number 15, the year of the local church. The church is a building and a people and both of them must become the light and salt of their city. Okay. Now I'm going to break away and then I'm going to come back and we're going to wrap up with the last six. There are six more and I'm doing this in four segments. So the videos won't be so long. Don't go away. I'm going to log off and then I'm going to come right back on and we'll wrap up the last six. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. 